In this video, I would like to show you how to install Lie on Gentoo Linux, which uses OpenRC as the init system. The reason why I'm making this video for the second time is because of the fact that since the day of the last video release, I have found a better and in my opinion, a lot neater way to achieve the same result. And that's the reason why I'm making this video again. So the first thing that we have to do is to clone the official repository. So we are going to copy the uh, command, the git clone command right here, and we are going to paste it into our terminal. Obviously, don't forget to get rid of the dollar sign at the beginning. Uh, and since I've already installed Lie on my system, I don't have to repeat this step again. If you still haven't installed Lie, definitely clone the repository. You're going to be building Lie from source. After successfully cloning the repository, a directory called Lie should appear, and we're going to CD exactly into that directory and we are going to build live from source by typing make. Afterwards, we want to test where live was built correctly. And to do so, we are going to type in make run. And if things went well, a login prompt like this should appear. Don't worry, this is just an animation that I've set uh, by default. The important thing is that you have a login prompt that you can actually type into. So that's really, really great. And now we are going to obviously exit by pressing Control C. And here is where things will get more interesting. Because we are installing Lie on OpenRC and not Systemd, we can skip this entire section and we're going to jump right here into the OpenRC section. And we are going to finally install Lie into our system. So we are going to copy this command and we are going to paste it into our terminal again. The important thing to remember about this command is that you actually need root privileges to pull it off. So you should either run this command as root or you can use uh, most commonly sudo or some people might even use duas. After installing lie into our system, the manual will tell us to add lie into our default run level, but we don't really have to do it at all. What I decided to do instead was to adjust or edit my init tab file, which is a file that determines what happens during the boot process. And to do so, I need the necessary privileges. So I'm going to use do as, and I'm going to edit the init tab file, which is located in the Etsy directory. This file contains a section called terminals, which launches a command called a giddy on every single terminal from one to six. And what Agiri does is that it launches a very, very minimalistic login prompt. It's the most basic one that looks pretty ugly, but gets the job done. The problem with Agiri in this case is that it launches that exact login prompt on TTY2, where our lie login prompt should appear by default. And that's a problem because we do not want these two login prompts to appear on the same TTY and they would overlap each other and it would look really, really nasty. So what we want to do instead is to use specific use flags that will prevent a Yeti from launching the most basic login prompt, but it will use lie instead. So uh, to do so, we are going to use two, two flags. The first flag is called skip login. And the second one is going to be called login program. And we are going to specify the path to our lie binary. So that's located in user bin slash lie. And that's it. If you want to make this a tiny bit shorter, you can, instead of using skip login and login program, you can just use one dash and uh, type NL instead. By using these flags, you don't even have to start the lie service. You can just leave it like this, store it, exit, and you are absolutely good to go. And from now on, whenever you boot into a computer, a lie login prompt should appear and it should automatically throw you to TTY2. That was it for this video. I really hope that you guys found this video helpful and I'm going to see you next time.